Good morning, friends. I'm George Wood, the interim pastor at Central Assembly of God. My full-time job is being general secretary for the Assemblies of God. And as many of you know, the headquarters for the Assemblies of God is located in Springfield, Missouri, just north of Central Assembly. It's an interesting story of how the Assemblies of God came to Springfield, Missouri. In 1918, we brought our headquarters here from St. Louis, Missouri. At that time, the Assemblies of God was only four years of age. But several years before the Assemblies of God came to Springfield, there was a small church, Central Assembly of God, at the corner of Boonville and Calhoun. And one New Year's Eve, they'd had a service that lasted until midnight. And after that service, the Coram family, who lived out on East Division Street, uh, were going to go home, and they had their horse-driven wagon ready to go. But their two teenage sons, Fred and Paul, decided to walk the two miles from Campbell and Calhoun out to uh, East Division to the Coram home, and they had with them three of their friends. One was a cousin, Laurel Taliaferro, and two other boys whose names I don't have. Uh, there was at that time at, uh, at the corner of where the Assemblies of God, or at the site where the Assemblies of God headquarters sits today, a, um, an amusement park. And it was, uh, had a fence running all the way around it. The boys should have walked one block east on Calhoun and then two blocks north on Boonville and then hung a right on Division. But boys being boys, they decided to cut Catacorner across from Campbell and Calhoun to, uh, to Boonville and Division and then go out east on Division. But the fence was in their way. They found a flat open in the fence and worked their way through and they got to the middle of the property and one of the boys said, wouldn't it be wonderful if this property belonged to the Lord? And the other thought that was a good idea. So one of the boys said, well, should we pray for the property? How much of the property should we ask the Lord for? And another boy said, let's, let's claim a block. And another boy said, no, let's claim two blocks. Let's claim from uh, Campbell to, uh, to Boonville and Division to Calhoun. And so there under the stars, they knelt and prayed and asked that that property would, would someday be used to further the gospel of Jesus Christ. And when they looked up, one of the boys said, see how many stars there are in the sky. Another boy said, those are the same stars Abraham saw. And they said, wouldn't it be wonderful if there were as many people reached for the gospel as there are stars from this place? Well, now every working day, 18 tons of gospel literature is printed in our plant on that site. And every square inch of that property has come into the possession of the church to further the cause of Jesus Christ. It's a wonderful thing to realize what prayer can do. Sometimes we don't have a lot of resources, and maybe you're watching today and you don't have a lot of resources to do things. But prayer is a tremendous resource. The scriptures say, show me and I, and I will give you great and mighty things. And uh, the Lord honors faith in his people. These five boys had great faith. And as a result of their simple prayer, a wonderful organization called the Assemblies of God is in our Queen City of the Ozarks. May God bless you today and inspire you with this little story.